Aachen districts and quarters Aachen, Aachen dialect, Achi, X, French and traditional English, Aix la Chapelle, Latin, Aqui Granny or Aquisgranum, Dutch, Aiken, is. With around 249,000 inhabitants, the 13th largest city in North Rhine Westphalia, and the 28th largest city of Germany. It is the westernmost city in Germany, and borders Belgium and the Netherlands to the west, the tri border area. It is located between Maastricht and Liege in the west, and Bonn and Cologne, in the east. The Worm River flows through the city, and together with Munchengladbach, Aachen is the only larger German city in the drainage basin of the Meuse. Aachen is the seat of the city region Aachen. Aachen developed from a Roman settlement and spa, subsequently becoming the preferred medieval imperial residence of Emperor Charlemagne of the Frankish Empire. And, from 936 to 1531, the place where 31 Holy Roman Emperors were crowned kings of the Germans. One of Germany's leading institutes of higher education and technology, the RWTH Aachen University, is located in the city. Its university hospital unique Linux RWTH Aachen is Europe's largest single building hospital. Aachen's industries include science, engineering and information technology. In 2009, Aachen was ranked 8th among cities in Germany for innovation. The regional dialect spoken in the city is a central Franconian, Ripuarian variant with strong Limburgish influences from the dialects in the neighboring Netherlands. As a Rhenish city, Aachen is one of the main centers of carnival celebrations in Germany, along with Cologne, Mainz, and Dusseldorf. The culinary speciality the city is best known for are Aachener Printen, a type of gingerbread. Flint quarries on the Lausberg, Schneeberg, and Konigsugel, first used during Neolithic times, attest to the long occupation of the site of Aachen. As do recent finds under the modern city's Elisengarten pointing to a former settlement from the same period. Bronze Age settlement is evidenced by the remains of barrows found, for example, on the Klausberg. During the Iron Age, the area was settled by Celtic peoples who were perhaps drawn by the marshy Aachen Basin's hot sulfur springs where they worshipped Granus, god of light and healing. Later, the 25-hectare Roman spa resort town of Aqui Granny was, according to legend, founded by Grenus, under Hadrian, around 124 AD. Instead, the fictitious founder refers to the Celtic god, and it seems it was the Roman 6th legion at the start of the 1st century AD that first channeled the hot springs into a spa at Bushel. Adding at the end of the same century the Munster Thermi Spa, two water pipelines, and a probable sanctuary dedicated to Granus. A kind of forum, surrounded by colonnades, connected the two spa complexes. There was also an extensive residential area, part of it inhabited by a flourishing Jewish community. The Romans built bathhouses near Bertskiat. A temple precinct called Verninum was built near the modern Corneli Munster slash Walheim. Today, remains have been found of three bathhouses, including two fountains in the Elysenbrunnen and the Bertskiad bathhouse. Roman civil administration in Aachen eventually broke down as the baths and other public buildings were destroyed around AD 375 at the start of the migration period. The last Roman coin finds are from the time of Emperor Gratian. Rome withdrew its troops from the area, but the town remained populated. By 470, the town came to be ruled by the Ripuarian Franks and subordinated to their capital, Cologne. The name Aachen is a modern descendant, like southern German Ach, German, Ach, meaning river or stream, from Old High German A, meaning water or stream, which directly translates to Latin Aqui, referring to the springs. The location has been inhabited by humans since the Neolithic era, about 5,000 years ago, attracted to its warm mineral springs. Latin Aqui figures in Aachen's Roman name Aqui Granny, which meant waters of Granus, referring to the Celtic god of healing who was worshipped at the springs. This word became Aix in Walloon and Aix in French, and subsequently Aix la Chapelle after Charlemagne had his Palatine Chapel built there in the late 8th century and then made the city his empire's capital. As a spa city, Aachen has the right to name itself Bad Aachen, but chooses not to, so it remains on the top of alphabetical lists. Aachen's name in French and German evolved in parallel. The city is known by a variety of different names in other languages. Aachen is at the western end of the Benrot line that divides High German to the south from the rest of the West Germanic speech area to the north. Aachen's local dialect is called Echerplatt and belongs to the Ripuarian language. Construction of Aix la Chapelle, by Jean Fouquet presentation of the four great relics during the Aachen pilgrimage, after a 17th century painting after Roman times. Papon the Short had a castle residence built in the town. 
due to the proximity of the hot springs and also for strategic reasons as it is located between the Rhineland and northern France. Einhard mentions that in 765-6 Papon spent both Christmas and Easter at Aquas Villa, and, he, celebrated Christmas in the town Aquas. And similarly Easter, which must have been sufficiently equipped to support the royal household for several months. In the year of his coronation as King of the Franks, 768, Charlemagne came to spend Christmas at Aachen for the first time. He remained there in a mansion which he may have extended, although there is no source attesting to any significant building activity at Aachen in his time, apart from the building of the Palatine Chapel and the palace. Charlemagne spent most winters in Aachen between 792 and his death in 814. Aachen became the focus of his court and the political center of his empire. After his death, the king was buried in the church which he had built, his original tomb has been lost, while his alleged remains are preserved in the Karlskrain. The shrine where he was reburied after being declared a saint, his saintliness, however, was never officially acknowledged by the Roman Curia as such. In 936, Otto I was crowned king of East Francia in the collegiate church built by Charlemagne. During the reign of Otto II, the nobles revolted and the West Franks under Lothair raided Aachen in 978. Aachen was attacked again by Odo of Champagne, who attacked the imperial palace while Conrad II was absent. Odo relinquished it quickly and was killed soon afterwards. The palace and town of Aachen had fortifying walls built by order of Emperor Frederick Barbarossa between 1172 and 1176. Over the next 500 years, most kings of Germany destined to reign over the Holy Roman Empire were crowned in Aachen. The original audience hall built by Charlemagne was torn down and replaced by the current city hall in 1330. The last king to be crowned here was Ferdinand I in 1531. During the Middle Ages, Aachen remained a city of regional importance, due to its proximity to Flanders, it achieved a modest position in the trade in woolen cloths, favored by imperial privilege. The city remained a free imperial city, subject to the emperor only, but was politically far too weak to influence the policies of any of its neighbors. The only dominion it had was over Bertskiad, a neighboring territory ruled by a Benedictine abbess. It was forced to accept that all of its traffic must pass through the Aachener Reich. Even in the late 18th century the abbess of Bertskiad was prevented from building a road linking her territory to the neighboring estates of the Duke of Yulish, the city of Aachen even deployed its handful of soldiers to chase away the road diggers. As an imperial city, Aachen held certain political privileges that allowed it to remain independent of the troubles of Europe for many years. It remained a direct vassal of the Holy Roman Empire throughout most of the Middle Ages. It was also the site of many important church councils, including the Council of 837 and the Council of 1166, a council convened by the anti-Pope Pascal III. The Siege of Aachen by the Spanish Army of Flanders under Ambrogio Spinola in 1614 Aachen has proved an important site for the production of historical manuscripts. Under Charlemagne's purview, both the Ada Gospels and the Coronation Gospels may have been produced in Aachen. In addition, quantities of the other texts in the court library were also produced locally. During the reign of Louis the Pious, substantial quantities of ancient texts were produced at Aachen, including legal manuscripts such as the Legis Scriptorium Group, patristic texts including the five manuscripts of the Bomberg Pliny group. Finally, under Lothair I, texts of outstanding quality were still being produced. This however marked the end of the period of manuscript production in Aachen. View of Aachen in 1690 and 1598, following the invasion of Spanish troops from the Netherlands, Rudolf deposed all Protestant office holders in Aachen and even went as far as expelling them from the city. From the early 16th century, Aachen started to lose its power and influence. First the coronations of emperors were moved from Aachen to Frankfurt. This was followed by the religious wars and the Great Fire of 1656. After the destruction of most of the city in 1656, the rebuilding was mostly in the Baroque style. The decline of Aachen culminated in 1794, when the French, led by General Charles Dumouriez, occupied Aachen. In 1542, the Dutch humanist and physician Francis Fabricius published his study of the health benefits of the hot springs in Aachen. By the middle of the 17th century, the city had developed a considerable reputation as a spa, although this was in part because Aachen was then, and remained well into the 19th century, a place of high-level prostitution. Traces of this hidden agenda of the city's history are found in the 18th-century guidebooks to Aachen as well as to the other spas. 
The main indication for visiting patients, ironically, was syphilis, only by the end of the 19th century had rheumatism become the most important object of cures at Aachen and Bertsgeid. Aachen was chosen as the site of several important congresses and peace treaties, the first Congress of Aachen on May 2, 1668. Leading to the first Treaty of Aachen in the same year which ended the War of Devolution. The Second Congress ended with the Second Treaty in 1748, ending the War of the Austrian Succession. In 1789, there was a constitutional crisis in the Aachen government, and in 1794 Aachen lost its status as a free imperial city. The modern Elizabeth Allais pool on February 9, 1801, the Peace of Lunéville removed the ownership of Aachen and the entire left bank of the Rhine from Germany and granted it to France. In 1815, control of the town was passed to the Kingdom of Prussia through an act passed by the Congress of Vienna. The Third Congress took place in 1818, to decide the fate of occupied Napoleonic France. By the middle of the 19th century, industrialization had swept away most of the city's medieval rules of production and commerce, although the entirely corrupt remains of the city's medieval constitution were kept in place until 1801. When Aachen became the chef lieu du département de la Ruhr in Napoleon's First French Empire. In 1815, after the Napoleonic Wars, the Kingdom of Prussia took over within the new German Confederation. The city was one of its most socially and politically backward centers until the end of the 19th century. Administered within the Rhine province, by 1880 the population was 80,000. Starting in 1838, the railway from Cologne to Belgium passed through Aachen. The city suffered extreme overcrowding and deplorable sanitary conditions until 1875, when the medieval fortifications were finally abandoned as a limit to building and new. Better housing was built in the east of the city, where sanitary drainage was easiest. In December 1880, the Aachen Tramway Network was opened, and in 1895 it was electrified. In the 19th century and up to the 1930s, the city was important in the production of railway locomotives and carriages, iron, pins, needles, buttons, tobacco, woolen goods, and silk goods. World War II play media films shot on 13, 14 and October 15, 1944 in Aachen by U.S. forces. After World War I, Aachen was occupied by the Allies until 1930, along with the rest of German territory west of the Rhine. Aachen was one of the locations involved in the ill-fated Rhenish Republic. On October 21, 1923, an armed mob took over the city hall. Similar actions took place in Mönchengladbach, Duisburg, and Krefeld. This republic lasted only about a year. Aachen was heavily damaged during World War II. According to Jörg Friedrich in the fire, two Allied air raids on 11th of April and May 24, 1944 radically destroyed the city. The first killed 1,525, including 212 children, and bombed six hospitals. During the second, 442 aircraft hit two railway stations, killed 207, and left 15,000 homeless. The raids also destroyed Aachen Eilendorf and Aachen Bertskied. The city and its fortified surroundings were laid siege to from 12 September to October 21, 1944 by the U.S. 1st Infantry Division with the 3rd Armored Division assisting from the south. Around 13 October the U.S. 2nd Armored Division played their part, coming from the north and getting as close as Rosellen, while the 30th Infantry Division played a crucial role in completing the encirclement of Aachen on October 16, 1944. With reinforcements from the U.S. 28th Infantry Division the Battle of Aachen continued involving direct assaults through the heavily defended city, which finally forced the German garrison to surrender on October 21, 1944. Aachen was the first German city to be captured by the Western Allies, and its residents welcomed the soldiers as liberators. What remained of the city was destroyed, in some areas completely, during the fighting, mostly by American artillery fire and demolitions carried out by the Waffen-SS defenders. Damaged buildings included the medieval churches of Street, Foylan, Street, Paul and Street, Nicholas, and the Rothaus, although Aachen Cathedral was largely unscathed. Only 4,000 inhabitants remained in the city, the rest had followed evacuation orders. Its first Allied appointed mayor, Franz Oppenhoff, was assassinated by an SS commando unit. History of Aachen Jews' view of the old synagogue in Aachen after its destruction during Kristallnacht, November 1938 during the Roman period, Aachen was the site of a flourishing Jewish community. Later, during the Carolingian Empire, a Jewish community lived near the royal palace. In 797, Isaac, 
a Jewish merchant, accompanied two ambassadors of Charlemagne to the court of Harun al-Rashid. He returned to Aachen in July 802, bearing an elephant called Abul Abbas as a gift for the emperor. During the 13th century, many Jews converted to Christianity, as shown in the records of the Aachen Minster. In 1486, the Jews of Aachen offered gifts to Maximilian I during his coronation ceremony. In 1629, the Aachen Jewish community was expelled from the city. In 1667, six Jews were allowed to return. Most of the Aachen Jews settled in the nearby town of Bertskiet. On May 16, 1815, the Jewish community of the city offered an homage in its synagogue to the Prussian king, Friedrich Wilhelm III. A Jewish cemetery was acquired in 1851. 1,345 Jews lived in the city in 1933. The synagogue was destroyed during Kristallnacht in 1938. In 1939, after emigration and arrests, 782 Jews remained in the city. After World War II, only 62 Jews lived there. In 2003, 1,434 Jews were living in Aachen. In Jewish texts, the city of Aachen was called Ashorash. The city of Aachen has developed into a technology hub as a byproduct of hosting one of the leading universities of technology in Germany with the RWTH Aachen. Known especially for mechanical engineering, automotive and manufacturing technology as well as for its research and academic hospital Klinikum Aachen, one of the largest medical facilities in Europe. The Tripoint, where the borders of Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands meet at the Valserberg Aachen is located in the middle of the meuse rhine euro region, close to the border tripoint of Germany, the Netherlands, and Belgium. The town of Vals in the Netherlands lies nearby at about 6 km from Aachen city centre, while the Dutch city of Heerlen and Eupen. The capital of the German-speaking community of Belgium, are both located about 20 km from Aachen city centre. Aachen lies near the head of the open valley of the Worm, part of the larger basin of the Meuse. And about 30 km north of the high fence, which form the northern edge of the Eiffel uplands of the Rhenish Massif. The maximum dimensions of the city's territory are 21. 6 km from north to south, and 17. 2 km from east to west. The city limits are 87. 7 km long, of which 23. 8 km border Belgium and 21. 8 km the Netherlands. The highest point in Aachen, located in the far southeast of the city, lies at an elevation of 410 meters above sea level. The lowest point, in the north, and on the border with the Netherlands, is at 125 meters. As the westernmost city in Germany, Aachen and the surrounding area belongs to a temperate climate zone, with humid weather, mild winters, and warm summers. Because of its location north of the Eiffel and the high fans and its subsequent prevailing westerly weather patterns, rainfall in Aachen is comparatively higher than, for example, in Bonn. Another factor in the local weather forces of Aachen is the occurrence of fun winds on the southerly air currents, which results from the city's geographic location on the northern edge of the Eiffel. Because the city is surrounded by hills, it suffers from inversion-related smog. Some areas of the city have become urban heat islands as a result of poor heat exchange, both because of the area's natural geography and from human activity. The city's numerous cold air corridors, which are slated to remain as free as possible from new construction, therefore play an important role in the urban climate of Aachen. The January average is 3. 0 degrees Celsius, while the July average is 18. 5 degrees Celsius. Precipitation is almost evenly spread throughout the year. Layered sandstone and claystone formation from the Devonian period below street. At Albert Church in Aachen The geology of Aachen is very structurally heterogeneous. The oldest occurring rocks in the area surrounding the city originate from the Devonian period and include carboniferous sandstone, grey whack, claystone and limestone. These formations are part of the Rhenish Massif, north of the High Fans. In the Pennsylvanian subperiod of the Carboniferous Geological Period, these rock layers were narrowed and folded as a result of the Variscan orogeny. After this event, and over the course of the following 200 million years, this area has been continuously flattened. During the Cretaceous period, the ocean penetrated the continent from the direction of the North Sea up to the mountainous area near Aachen, bringing with it clay, sand, and chalk deposits. While the clay is mostly found in the lower areas of Aachen, the hills of the Aachen Forest and the Lausberg were formed from Upper Cretaceous sand and chalk deposits. More recent sedimentation is mainly located in the north and east of Aachen and was formed through tertiary and quaternary river and wind activities. 
Along the major thrust fault of the Variska Norogeny, there are over 30 thermal springs in Aachen and Bertskiad. Additionally, the subsurface of Aachen is traversed by numerous active faults that belong to the Ruhrgraben fault system, which has been responsible for numerous earthquakes in the past. Including the 1756 Duran earthquake and the 1992 Roman earthquake, which was the strongest earthquake ever recorded in the Netherlands. Age distribution of Aachen's population next to Germany's Aachen has 245,885 inhabitants, of whom 118,272 are female, and 127,613 are male. The unemployment rate in the city is, as of April 2012, 9.7%. At the end of 2009, the foreign-born residents of Aachen made up 13. 6% of the total population. A significant portion of foreign residents are students at the RWTH Aachen University. The city is divided into seven administrative districts, or boroughs, each with its own district council, district leader, and district authority. The councils are elected locally by those who live within the district, and these districts are further subdivided into smaller sections for statistical purposes, with each subdistrict named by a two-digit number. The districts of Aachen, including their constituent statistical districts, are, regardless of official statistical designations, there are 50 neighborhoods and communities within Aachen, here arranged by district, the following cities and communities border Aachen, clockwise from the northwest, Herzogenrath, Wurzelen, Eschweiler, Stahlberg and Rietgen, Raren, Kelmus and Plombeers as well as Vols, Velpen Witten, Simpelveld, Heerlen and Kirkrade. The current mayor of Aachen is Sybil Kupin, an independent endorsed by Alliance 90 the Greens, since 2020. The most recent mayoral election was held on September 13, 2020, with a runoff held on 27 September, and the results were as follows, the Aachen City Council governs the city alongside the mayor. The most recent city council election was held on September 13, 2020, and the results were as follows, Aachen Cathedral Aachen Cathedral was erected on the orders of Charlemagne. Construction began c. AD 796, and it was, on completion c. 798, the largest cathedral north of the Alps. It was modeled after the Basilica of San Vitale, in Ravenna, Italy, and was built by Odo of Metz. Charlemagne also desired for the chapel to compete with the Lateran Palace, both in quality and authority. It was originally built in the Carolingian style, including marble-covered walls, and mosaic inlay on the dome. On his death, Charlemagne's remains were interred in the cathedral and can be seen there to this day. The cathedral was extended several times in later ages, turning it into a curious and unique mixture of building styles. The throne and gallery portion date from the Ottonian, with portions of the original opus sectal floor still visible. The 13th century saw gables being added to the roof, and after the fire of 1656, the dome was rebuilt. Finally, a choir was added around the start of the 15th century. After Frederick Barbarossa canonized Charlemagne in 1165 the chapel became a destination for pilgrims. For 600 years, from 936 to 1531, Aachen Cathedral was the church of coronation for 30 German kings and 12 queens. The church built by Charlemagne is still the main attraction of the city. In addition to holding the remains of its founder, it became the burial place of his successor Otto III. In the upper chamber of the gallery, Charlemagne's marble throne is housed. Aachen Cathedral has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Most of the marble and columns used in the construction of the cathedral were brought from Rome and Ravenna, including the sarcophagus in which Charlemagne was eventually laid to rest. A bronze bear from Gaul was placed inside, along with an equestrian statue from Ravenna, believed to be Theodric, in contrast to a wolf and a statue of Marcus Aurelius in the Capitoline. Bronze pieces such as the doors and railings, some of which have survived to present day, were cast in a local foundry. Finally, there is uncertainty surrounding the bronze pine cone in the chapel, and where it was created. Wherever it was made, it was also a parallel to a piece in Rome, this an old street. Peter's Basilica. Cross of Lothair, Aachen Cathedral Treasury Aachen Cathedral Treasury has housed, throughout its history, a collection of liturgical objects. The origin of this church treasure is in dispute as some say Charlemagne himself endowed his chapel with the original collection, while the rest were collected over time. Others say all of the objects were collected over time, from such places as Jerusalem and Constantinople. 
The location of this treasury has moved over time and was unknown until the 15th century when it was located in the Matthias Capella until 1873, when it was moved to the Karls Capella. From there it was moved to the Hungarian Chapel in 1881 and in 1931 to its present location next to the Alersilen Capella. Only six of the original Carolingian objects have remained, and of those only three are left in Aachen, the Aachen Gospels, a diptych of Christ, and an early Byzantine silk the Coronation Gospels, and a reliquary burst of street. Stephen were moved to Vienna in 1798 and the talisman of Charlemagne was given as a gift in 1804 to Josephine Bonaparte and subsequently to Reims Cathedral. 210 documented pieces have been added to the treasury since its inception, typically to receive and return legitimization of linkage to the heritage of Charlemagne. The Lothar Cross, the Gospels of Otto III and multiple additional Byzantine silks were donated by Otto III part of the Polidoro and a covering for the Aachen Gospels. Were made of gold donated by Henry II. Frederick Barbarossa donated the candelabrum that adorns the dome and also once crowned the shrine of Charlemagne. Which was placed underneath in 1215. Charles IV donated a pair of reliquaries. Louis XI gave, in 1475, the crown of Margaret of York, and, in 1481, another arm reliquary of Charlemagne. Maximilian I and Charles V both gave numerous works of art by Hans von Reutlingen. Continuing the tradition, objects continue to be donated until the present, each indicative of the period of its gifting, with the last documented gift being a chalice from 1960 made by Ewald Matare. Aachenrathaus seen from the south the Aachenrathaus, dated from 1330, lies between two central squares, the Markt and the Kochhof. The Coronation Hall is on the first floor of the building. Inside one can find five frescoes by the Aachen artist Alfred Rethel which show legendary scenes from the life of Charlemagne, as well as Charlemagne's signature. Also, precious replicas of the imperial regalia are kept here. Since 2009, the City Hall has been a station on the route Charlemagne, a tour program by which historical sites of Aachen are presented to visitors. At the City Hall, a museum exhibition explains the history and art of the building and gives a sense of the historical coronation banquets that took place there. A portrait of Napoleon from 1807 by Louis-André Gabriel Boucher and one of his wife Josephine from 1805 by Robert Lefebvre are viewable as part of the tour. As before, the City Hall is the seat of the Mayor of Aachen and of the City Council, and annually the Charlemagne Prize is awarded there. The Grashaus, a late medieval house at the Fishmarkt, is one of the oldest non-religious buildings in central Aachen. It hosted the city archive, and before that, the Grashaus was the city hall until the present building took over this function. The Elisenbrunnen is one of the most famous sites of Aachen. It is a neoclassical hall covering one of the city's famous fountains. It is just a minute away from the cathedral. Just a few steps in a southeasterly direction lies the 19th century theater. Also of note are two remaining city gates, the Ponter, 800 meters northwest of the cathedral, and the Marschurter, close to the central railway station. There are also a few parts of both medieval city walls left, most of them integrated into more recent buildings, but some others still visible. There are even five towers left, some of which are used for housing. Street. Michael's Church, Aachen was built as a church of the Aachen Jesuit Collegium in 1628. It is attributed to the Rhine Mannerism, and a sample of a local Renaissance architecture. The rich facade remained unfinished until 1891, when the architect Peter Friedrich Peters added to it. The church is a Greek Orthodox church today, but the building is used also for concerts because of its good acoustics. The synagogue in Aachen, which was destroyed on the night of broken glass, November 9, 1938, was re-inaugurate on May 18, 1995. One of the contributors to the reconstructions of the synagogue was Jürgen Linden, the Lord Mayor of Aachen from 1989 to 2009. There are numerous other notable churches and monasteries, a few remarkable 17th and 18th century buildings in the particular Baroque style typical of the region, a synagogue, a collection of statues and monuments, park areas, cemeteries, among others. Among the museums in the town are the Surmont Ludwig Museum, which has a fine sculpture collection and the Aachen Museum of the International Press, which is dedicated to newspapers from the 16th century to the present. The area's industrial history is reflected in dozens of 19th and early 20th century manufacturing sites in the city. Ford Research Center, Aachen Aachen is the administrative center for the coal mining industries in neighboring places to the northeast. 
Products manufactured in Aachen include electrical goods, textiles, foodstuffs, glass, machinery, rubber products, furniture, metal products. Also in and around Aachen chemicals, plastics, cosmetics, and needles and pins are produced. Though once a major player in Aachen's economy, today glassware and textile production make up only 10% of total manufacturing jobs in the city. There have been a number of spin-offs from the university's IT technology department. Street scooter work as DHL delivery van in June 2010, Ahim Kamker, together with Gunder Shu, founded a small company to develop Street Scooter GmbH, in August 2014. It was renamed Street Scooter GmbH. This was a privately organized research initiative at the RWTH Aachen University which later became an independent company in Aachen. Conker was also the founder and chairman of the European Network for Affordable and Sustainable Electromobility. In May 2014, the company announced that the city of Aachen, the city council Aachen and the savings bank Aachen had ordered electric vehicles from the company. In late 2014, approximately 70 employees were manufacturing 200 vehicles annually in the premises of the wagon fabric Talbot, the former Talbot slash Bombardier plant in Aachen. In December 2014 Deutsche Post DHL Group purchased the Street Scooter Company, which became its wholly owned subsidiary. By April 2016, the company announced that it would produce 2,000 of its electric vans branded work in Aachen by the end of the year. In 2015, the electric vehicle startup E. Go Mobile was founded by Gunder Schuh, which started producing the E. Go Life electric passenger car and other vehicles in April 2019. In April 2016, Street Scooter GmbH announced that it would be scaling up to manufacture approximately 10,000 of the work vehicles annually, starting in 2017, also in Aachen. If that goal is achieved, it will become the largest electric light utility vehicle manufacturer in Europe, surpassing Renault which makes the smaller Kangoo ZE. Aachen is also famous for its carnival, in which families dress in colorful costumes the main building of RWTH Aachen University typical. Aachen Street with early 20th century Grunderzeit houses another example of Aachen early 20th century Grunderzeit houses RWTH Aachen University. Established as Polytechnicum in 1870, is one of Germany's universities of excellence with strong emphasis on technological research, especially for electrical and mechanical engineering, computer sciences, physics, and chemistry. The university clinic attached to the RWTH, the Klinikum Aachen, is the biggest single building hospital in Europe. Over time, a host of software and computer industries have developed around the university. It also maintains a botanical garden. F. H. Aachen, Aachen University of Applied Sciences was founded in 1971. The ACUAS offers a classic engineering education in professions such as mechatronics, construction engineering, mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. German and international students are educated in more than 20 international or foreign-oriented programs and can acquire German as well as international degrees or Doppelabschluss. Foreign students account for more than 21% of the student body. The Katholische Hochschule Nordrhein-Westfalen, Abteilung Aachen offers at some 750 students a variety of degree programs, social work, childhood education, nursing, and cooperative management. It also has the only program of study in Germany especially designed for mothers. The Hochschule für Musik und Tanz Köln is one of the world's foremost performing art schools and one of the largest music institutions for higher education in Europe with one of its three campuses in Aachen. The Aachen campus substantially contributes to the opera-slash-musical theatre master's program by collaborating with the Theatre Aachen and the recently established musical theatre chair through the Rheinische Opernakademie. The German Army's Technical School is in Aachen. New Tivoli, home ground of Alemannia Aachen the annual CHIO is the biggest. Equestrian meeting of the world and among horsemen is considered to be as prestigious for equitation as the tournament of Wimbledon for tennis. Aachen hosted the 2006 FEI World Equestrian Games. The local football team Alemannia Aachen had a short run in Germany's first division, after its promotion in 2006. However, the team could not sustain its status and is now back in the fourth division. The Stadium Tivoli, opened in 1928, served as the venue for the team's home games and was well known for its incomparable atmosphere throughout the whole of the second division. Before the old stadium's demolition in 2011, it was used by amateurs, whilst the Bundesliga club held its games in the new stadium Neue Tivoli, meaning New Tivoli, a couple of meters down the road. 
The building work for the stadium which has a capacity of 32,960, began in May 2008 and was completed by the beginning of 2009. The ladies in black women's volleyball team has played in the first German volleyball league since 2008. Aachen's railway station, the Hauptbahnhof, was constructed in 1841 for the Cologne Aachen railway line. In 1905 it was moved closer to the city center. It serves main lines to Cologne, Munchengladbach and Liège as well as branch lines to Heerlen, Alsdorf, Stahlberg, and Eschweiler. Ice high-speed trains from Brussels via Cologne to Frankfurt and Main and Tullys trains from Paris to Cologne also stop at Aachen Central Station. Four re lines and two air bay lines connect Aachen with the Ruhrgebiet, Munchengladbach, Spa, Düsseldorf and the Siegerland. The Uregebahn, a regional railway system, reaches several minor cities in the Aachen region. There are four smaller stations in Aachen, Aachen West, Aachen Schanz, Aachen Rota Erde and Aundorf. Slower trains stop at these. Aachen West has gained in importance with the expansion of RWTH Aachen University. There are two stations for intercity bus services in Aachen, Aachen West Station, in the northwest of the city, and Aachen Wilmersdorfer Strasse, in the northeast. By articulated bus of the city's transit authority ASIG, at the University Hospital bus stop the first horse tram line in Aachen opened in December 1880. After electrification in 1895, it attained a maximum length of 213. 5 km in 1915, becoming the fourth longest tram network in Germany. Many tram lines extended to the surrounding towns of Herzogenrat, Stahlberg, Alsdorf as well as the Belgian and Dutch communes of Vals, Kelmis, and Eupen. The Aachen tram system was linked with the Belgian national interurban tram system. Like many tram systems in Western Europe, the Aachen tram suffered from poorly maintained infrastructure and was so deemed unnecessary and disrupting for car drivers by local politics. On September 28, 1974 the last Line 15 operated for one last day and was then replaced by buses. A proposal to reinstate a tram-slash-light rail system under the name Campusbahn was dropped after a referendum. Today, the ASIG operates a 1,240.8-kilometer long bus network with 68 bus routes. Because of the location at the border, many bus routes extend to Belgium and the Netherlands. Lines 14 to Eupen, Belgium and 44 to Heerlen, Netherlands are jointly operated with Transport and Coman and Veolia Transport Nederland, respectively. A SIEG is one of the main participants in the Aachener Verkeersverbund, a tariff association in the region. Along with a SIEG, city bus routes of Aachen are served by private contractors such as Sadar, Tater, Schlemmer, or DB Regio Bus. Line 350, which runs from Maastricht, also enters Aachen. Aachen is connected to the Autobahn A4, A44 and A544. There are plans to eliminate traffic jams at the Aachen Road interchange. Maastricht Aachen Airport is the main airport of Aachen and Maastricht. It is located around 15 nautical miles northwest of Aachen. There is a shuttle service between Aachen and the airport. Recreational aviation is served by the aachen mertzbruck airfield. Chancellor of Germany Angela Merkel, wearing the Charlemagne Prize awarded to her in 2008 since 1950, a committee of Aachen citizens. Annually awards the Charlemagne Prize to personalities of outstanding service to the unification of Europe. It is traditionally awarded on Ascension Day at the City Hall. In 2016, the Charlemagne Award was awarded to Pope Francis. The International Charlemagne Prize of Aachen was awarded in the year 2000 to U.S. President Bill Clinton, for his special personal contribution to cooperation with the states of Europe. For the preservation of peace, freedom, democracy and human rights in Europe, and for his support of the enlargement of the European Union. In 2004, Pope John Paul II's efforts to unite Europe were honored with an extraordinary Charlemagne medal, which was awarded for the only time ever. X is the destination in Robert Browning's poem How They Brought the Good News from Ghent to X, which was published in Dramatic Romances and Lyrics, 1845. The poem is a first-person narrative told, in breathless galloping meter, by one of three writers, an urgent midnight errand to deliver, the news which alone could save X from her fate. Aachen is twinned with. Thanks for watching.